Hi, I want to show you the Vtomin X1 in case this is something you're interested in getting. This is a very cool device, four things in one small package. Full disclosure, Vtomin did send this to me to check out. Now the four things that this has is that it has an air compressor, it has a jump starter or a battery charger, it's got a light with some safety features, and you can also use it as a battery backup device because it has a USB-A output. So what I want to do is show you this unit and show you some of the features that it can do, then go outside and use it in a real life scenario, both the jump starter and the air compressor and some of the other features. First, let me do a tour of the unit. We can turn it on. We'll get an idea. There's the screen. It's not flashing in real life. That's just the recording. It has air fins on the sides, nothing on the bottom. And then at the top, this is where you connect up your hose and it comes with this hose with the Schrader valve on the end. It's got the light bar. It charges by USB-C. It has a USB-A output that can do 10 watts. And then it also has a barrel port. And so it doesn't come with it, but you could get a connector here to run other 12 volt devices with it. X1 comes with a nice carrying case with a Velcro opening. You can store things in there. There's a mesh pocket in the back and a little handle on the side. If you're going to use this for as an air compressor, I already showed you this, but it also comes with a num number of other connectors. So you have your, your needle nose to pump up like a basketball. You have a connection for a Presta valve. You have another valve uh, reducer. And then you have these right here, if you're gonna pump up like a uh, beach ball or uh, maybe a camping air mattress or something like that. And then there's also a charging cable, USB-A to USB-C. And there are also alligator clips, which I'll show you in a second when I talk about the jump starting feature. But I wanna talk about the air compressor feature. So when you turn this on and you have this connected up in here, you'll see when I have it hooked up to the car tire, as soon as you hook this up, it's gonna show you the, the air pressure that's getting measured right here. And then what you're gonna be able to do is use the various functions. So whatever's flashing, this one's actually flashing, uh, you're gonna be able to select predetermined pressures. So that's a basketball, a bike, tire, car, tire. Jumping outside real quick, I just wanted to show you that it does remember the pressure that you set it to. So I turned it on. It's at PSI, it's measuring zero because there's nothing hooked up to this. And if I push this button right here, it's not flashing in real life. There's a little car icon. I'm setting my van all to 35 PSI. So if I push that button, it's automatically set to 35 PSI. So all I have to do is hook it up and then I can press the start button and it'll automatically pump up the air pressure to 35 PSI. It also does KPA, kilopascals, if you would prefer that. So if we just go to PSI, we'll push the button and then we can just change up or down the pressure. Now this one, I've used a lot of these air compressors and this one is neat because it has a decimal place. So if you want that level of precision and it'll pump to your desired pressure. So the air compressor in here is rated to pump up to 150 PSI and that's gonna be able to handle pretty much anything that's on the road. For example, I have big truck tires that are about 110 PSI that they need. So this will be able to handle that. So a small device like this can pump up your little basketball all the way up to big truck tires. The X1 is also a car jump starter or battery charger. It comes with these alligator clips. It has reverse polarity protection in case you plug the wrong one into your battery. And then this thing plugs in over here. Now this jump starter is able to start 8.5 liter gas engines or up to six liter diesel engines. And even if it can't, if your engine is bigger than that, one of the things that you can do is just put these on there and charge, discharge this battery to charge up your other battery. That's just gonna take a while, but if you want the instant jump start, it can do up to that 8.5 liters of a gas engine, which is probably most cars on the road. What you do is you plug this in, it automatically turns on. I didn't point this out before, but the battery charging or battery state of charge is up there, so you can take a look at that. And then you hook these on, negative, positive, and then start your car, and this will pull the, the amperage out of here up to 2,500 amps and start your vehicle's engine. Now, uh, a scenario that could happen that may confuse you a little bit is if you, the voltage on your battery is so low, say it's so dead that the voltage is below a certain, I don't know, 12 volts or so, then this may not work. So what you have to do is a little bit of work. You gotta push this button right down here. This says boost. And when you push that, a little relay clicks, you can see that light is on there. Uh, what that's going to do is automatically start pushing out voltage on these alligator clips. And if we measure the output voltage on my multimeter, 
you can see 16.49 volts that it's outputting. So this mode is intended to charge up your battery's voltage above that certain level so then it can get jump started. The X1 is also a light too, perfect for your car or if you're going camping. So if you push this button on the side, you get a pretty generous light, push it again, you get a red blinking feature and then you click it again, you get a SOS feature. So the uh, SOS, and then you could turn it off. So now let me show you the X1 in action here with my car. I'm gonna plug this in, and then we're gonna connect up the alligator clips to the positive and the negative. All right, and there's a little light on here. You can see that little green light. That means it says it's connected. It says correct. I don't have them in reverse polarity. So all I have to do at this point is I can start the car. And again, if, if the battery voltage was too low, this battery voltage is actually okay. Uh, you would have to push this boost button to uh, feed, batter, feed the voltage into the battery. But I can just start it and maybe you can keep an eye on the screen here because it doesn't really use that much battery percentage to jumpstart the car. It just pulls a lot of current. So here we go, we'll start the car. And that's all you would need to do to jumpstart your car with the X1. And then we just unhook it, and we can be on our way. Next, I'll show you the X1 in action as an air compressor. I have this connected up, and I'm gonna hook this up to our van tire. On the screen, it looks like this is flashing, but it's not in real life, it's just a recording. It says 0.0, .0 PSI. It'll turn off to save power, but we turn it back on. Let's close this valve, and it's measuring the pressure right away, it says 28.8 PSI. Now this tire needs to get up to 35 PSI. So I'm gonna change this and get it up to 35 PSI. There we go. We'll lock that in and we'll press the button. And it'll start charging or filling up the air into the tire until it reaches 35 PSI. All right. There it goes, it stopped right at 35 PSI. I love these kind of air compressors where you can set it at the exact pressure that you want, push the button, you can even walk away, it'll pump it up and get ex exactly what you want it. And then this one, they even give you that one decimal point if you want that level of precision. So hopefully this has been a helpful look at the Vitoman X1 air compressor, light car jump starter, and battery pack.